Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News. And one question that I get a lot is, I don't want to use my WDS. I don't want to use WDS. Now, WDS is Windows Deployment Services. A lot of people don't want to use their MDT and Pixie Boot over the network to push their custom image. So the, another way that you could do it is creating an ISO uh, image file and then burning it into a DVD. And then you could just place the DVD inside your client machine and just boot from the CD and deploy your image the problem the problem with that is if you're constantly adding applications or customizing it like crazy you're gonna surpass your 4.7 gig limit with this the DVD you can always do a dual layer DVD but uh, I don't really recommend doing that I, I always push to do the WDS because it's seamless during the pixie uh, boot portion uh, and you can always always update your deployment share to compress your stuff. But again, I don't really recommend that. So creating an ISO with your MDT is pretty easy. So within your workbench, you want to go into the advanced configuration node. Uh, expand that. Go into media. Right click. Go to new media. And give it a path. Now I'm going to, I ha actually have a folder within my desktop, BTN ISO. Now, Place this in a location where you have a lot of space because depending on how big your custom image is with all the applications, uh, all the tasks, uh, sequence, your drivers, everything is going to be imported into this ISO. So I'm going to press OK and give a comment and then select the profile. Now, selecting the profile is really iffy. I'm going to do everything for now. But if you're, if you're doing a custom bootable drive or bootable DVD for a particular machine, I would say pick that profile for that machine. Now, I haven't gone over selection profiles, so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to show you guys what selection profile is. But for now, just do everything. Hit next. And please fix all the errors and specify. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do this, this, this. There we go. Let's hit next. <laughs> okay. And I want everything and hit next. And what's going to happen is going to grab everything from your deployment share, combine it into an ISO file. And I'm actually going to uh, go inside the desktop and I'm going to show you that folder content deploy. And that's all the information right there. So that's pretty cool. And it is finished. So once uh, it's finished, the ISO is not done yet. What it what it did is it grabbed everything from your deployment share and dropped it into this folder, all the content deploy. So what you need to do to create the ISO is within your media, right click and go to properties. And within properties, you have an option to generate a 86 or 64 bit image. Uh, this is the name that the ISO is going to be called. Again, up to, it's really up to you. You can rename it if you want. Any rules, this would be your custom setting INI file. I'm going to leave everything as default. Later on, I'm going to show you guys how to customize that. And then you got your WinPE. Customize the, the background, the, the background image. I'm going to leave everything as default. And we're going to press OK. And we're going to right click and update our media. So when you update the media, we're going to go back inside our folder and we should see our light touch media ISO file. So we'll go to desktop. And I believe it's not there yet. It should be popping up pretty soon. So once your ISO is completed, you could just hit finish. Uh, the dialog box would disappear. And you could go to where you actually told it where you want it to be dropped. So I'm going to go to my desktop, to this folder, and there it goes. Now this uh, this image file, you need to burn it into a DVD. Again, it's really small. It's only 603 megabytes. Uh, so I, I could get away with an actual uh, CD rather than a DVD. But again, uh, the more your image, the more you customize your image, the bigger it gets. You're going to begin into a DVD. I kind of recommend if you get to the 4.7 limit on a DVD, hey, use the Pixie Boo, use WDS, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them right below at the comment section, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.